Hello, I'm Veronica, and my fellow educator, Kay, will be exploring Moat and Google Rubrics. They are both web apps that can be used to provide meaningful student feedback. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Moat and Google Rubrics. All educators know that we need students to analyze, evaluate, and create to understand and achieve more in the classroom. In order to measure students effectively at these levels of achievement, we will need to utilize a rubric. But if you have ever created a rubric and used it to grade each student, you may have felt overwhelmed by the task and by the lack of attention students may have paid towards the feedback you diligently provided. Well, there are two web-based tools that can help lessen the grading burden and make your grading more efficient and meaningful to students, Moat and Google Classroom Rubrics. Let's start with the rubric creation tool in Google Classroom. You can find an introduction video to creating and editing Google Rubrics by visiting the Dear Dis YouTube channel. After assignment creation, simply take your created rubric from Google Docs or Google Sheets and simply copy and paste the format into the criteria sections. Remember, importing from Google Sheets may lead to an error message if the rubric is too large. Simply copy and paste your wording in. Whether utilizing a holistic or analytic rubric, Google makes it easy to create either. Once done and assigned, grading is simply a matter of clicking the student performance. Google will track the grade value changes. Once created, it's easy to reuse the rubric and edit to match criteria for the next assignment. Want to make sure students have a more personalized feedback message with a human feel to it? Leave a moat voice message in the comments section of the assignment. You can leave up to a 30 second voice message with a free account. Simply go to the Chrome store and add the Moat extension to your Chrome browser. Enable your microphone and don't worry, Moat will prompt you if needed. You will see a Moat icon beside the comment section of the assignment. Simply record your message for your student. You can use Moat on Google Slides and Google Docs. Moat is not just for comments. Add verbal instructions to any assignment. Wherever you see a Moat icon, you can add a voice message. Increase student engagement simply by adding your voice. Moat has a free service plan and more premium services for a price. There are lots of ways to use Moat to engage students and provide meaningful feedback. You can search by subject area by visiting moat.com. When the assignment is returned, the student can see your highlighted rubric feedback on their score and hear your personalized feedback via the Moat voice message. Students can even reply back to you with their own voice message using Moat. You'll want to take a look at letter D. You want to convert from grams to kilograms first to avoid that unit conversion. We hope you are inspired to bring efficiency and meaningful feedback for your student's success. And thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.